It looks like I'm live. Oh, my goodness. I am. I'm live on YouTube. First time I've done a live. Okay. Normally, I would record this, and I'm playing with some new tech that will allow me to stream live to Facebook and YouTube at the same time as using sort of a webinar-ish functioning, but I couldn't make it work. So I thought I would show you, since this is actually working, uh, the new iCrafter goodies that have arrived in Australia. Oh, there's some new stuff. There's some old stuff. And when I say old, iCrafter is a brand new company. Uh, but there's some very long awaited for stuff. And if you've been looking for iCrafter in Australia, you can get it from me. There is a link in the description 20, which feels like it was a million years ago, but it wasn't. And in this box, you get 10 blending brushes. Now they look like sponge daubers, but they are not. They are actual brushes. Uh, you will have seen Jennifer Maguire use these on her channel and you can stack them up. There's a color for each color of the rainbow. They're fantastic. They're really cool. High in demand. I'm very excited. I actually have some in stock. And when you're using brushes, hot tip for inking with brushes these days, you're going to want a separate set for your dye inks to your pigment inks and distress oxides are included in the pigment ink section just because if you use a brush and this is any kind of blending brush you're using but if you use it with your pigment inks and then apply it to a dye ink you're going to contaminate your dye ink ink pad so that is very very cool and uh they are in the shop then i think we'll work through the dyes i actually don't think i have any stamps in here i think they're all dyes yep they are all dyes uh starting with Animalopes. This is a very cute set. Uh, what I love about iCrafter is you can see all the pieces up here. It tells you how many dies are in the set down here. There are 13 dies and it shows you pictures and, and they're turquoise. Oh, I know they're turquoise. I'm so happy about this. They are the prettiest. So pretty, so pretty. I love colored dyes. And are these are the only colored dyes I own. I love them. Now we have a whole bunch of different animals a bunny, a unicorn, a deer. And up in the corner, there's a puppy, a kitty, a skunk, a mouse, and a fox. But honestly, oh, sorry, a mouse and a fox. It's back to front. I'm not used to this flip screen. Uh, you could probably build a whole bunch of other animals from this coin, you know I'm right. And also you don't have to use all these accessories on the um uh the the little envelopes. You can use them on whatever you like. So you could actually just cut a bunch of these and use them to fill in the back of a card. You could cut this from uh, fun foam, put some adhesive on it and use it as a stamp. There are a lot of uses for this and this cute little envelope. It fits a gift card. We like that. We like that a lot. So that's the little animal opes, which are cute. This is a new April release. It's called the Exploding Shaker Box. Now, it's not going to explode, but what it is going to do is when they take off the lid, all the sides open up, which is really, really cool. Hey, Tracy. Uh, do they fit A2 card size? Um, the animal opes, I think they should. Um that is an excellent question. Let me grab some Nina Solar White cardstock. I just got a new batch. So we're talking half of that. That's the size of the die. Easy peasy. Super easy peasy. It's going to be great on A4 cards and it's going to be great on A2 cards as well. So um, you could use all the bits and pieces in lots of different places. And you can kind of see that's a fairly big die set. Like if I hold that up to next to my head, it gives you a bit of an idea of how big they are. I'm so glad to see you live on here, Tracy. Um, so the exploding shaker box, this is a kind of fall apart box. Now, honestly, I think there are pieces on here that you could use in other things like this. How cute is that circle with all the hearts in it? Yeah, it's a cool embellishment for this box, but I'm thinking it would look really cool in a reveal wheel thing. I'm just saying there's there's ways, there's things you could do with a lot of these different elements, but it is very, very cool. You've got all your pieces up here. There's 11 dies in that box, and this is great for interactive. So it's kind of like I've seen people put chocolate bars in here, which is cool. I've seen people do this and they actually buy gift boxes and cut them apart. That's really expensive set and that coordinates with this. But what is so particularly good about this is that you cut your pretty turquoise dies. Look at that, aren't they pretty? And can you see up close? That is two edges there. That's two cutting lines there because it not only cuts this yellow, 
it cuts the navy outline. So if you were to line up your word and die cut the letters out for explore, cut one out of yellow, cut one out of navy, you could have yellow letters with a navy outline and also navy letters with a yellow outline. <gasps> I know. And they're super petite and fine and gorgeous. This has been really popular and seriously for the price of these. They're amazingly priced. Let me see. Um, I can't remember what the... Yeah, $32. When's the last time you saw a double? Out? And we're talking about me buying while the dollar is at 60 cents. Can you imagine when the dollar lives to how amazingly priced all these things are going to be? I know, right? Uh, this one has been super popular. This is the pop-up wiper insert. Now, this has a few really clever features. There are seven dies in the set. See all the pieces up here. And here and here, you've got two pieces and when you open the card, they come together and you can have these banner pieces here with thanks. So it's in two pieces. So you attach the THA to here and the NKS here. And when it comes together, it makes the word thanks. But like I said on my Facebook Live earlier tonight, you don't have to put the word thanks on here. Do you know I think it would be really, really cool? A little mirror stamping with two critters. I desperately want to try this with these really cool corgi stamps that I've got from um, Heffy Doodle. Oh, actually, pour some from Waffle Flower would be cool too. Like two matching corgis, and when the banners come together, the corgis go, or they boop noses. Like how cute would that be? You can put anything on those hands, on those arms that swing together. I Like cool, isn't that cool? The other cool thing about this, and I know I say cool a lot, this here, that's a gift card. Those, so those little semicircles, there's a die in here, this die here that cuts those semicircles for you to slide a gift card in. It will hold a gift card. But that's optional. You don't have to do that. Instead, you could probably build a scene on here, put a photo on there, put a joke, I don't know, something, anything. This, this is amazing. There's another one that they have, and I do have it in the shop. I wish I'd, oh, I wish I'd just brought it all. It goes like this and it makes the heart hands. I know, right? So cool. They, these guys make really cool stuff. Uh, this is one of my favourites. In fact, I just bought one off myself and I'm going to be playing with it on TikTok over the weekend. Oh, it's called Making Faces. Do not let this demure packaging fool you. You have all of these dies. There are 14 dies in this set. Yeah, they're turquoise. You've got all these faces and it's a beard, a bow tie, moustaches. I think it's a nose. There's another beard. All these different kinds of glasses. You can paper piece together a face and and section in here pops out. I know. So if you want to do some watercoloring or some coloring or whatever you want to do, you can actually just pop the face section out, color all the hair one lot color in the face or cut it from the skin tone cardstock or I don't know make it green make it a zombie do what you want man look see Bob Ross fro there are so many faces in here this is this this is one of the top two sets that tipped me over the edge and made me go please sign me up I wish to have an account and stock your fantastic things in my store I saw someone do this face and put a little lightning bolt on the on the on the forehead and the round glasses and oh my god it's so cool I love it a lot I I am I just unpacked mine and cut it out for the first time last night I put a little um glad press and seal on the back because my lovely friend Melissa sent me a roll oh, she's the best and I put it on the back and it's holding it all together so that none of the little pieces come apart because matching all those faces up is going to be tricky I can keep it all together while I color and then I can just pull out the pieces that I need when I want to turn them into projects so I'm excited I'm excited about this. I've got a, got three of those in the shop. Uh, this is a new one. This is new release for April. This is called Doily, and it is a beautiful set. Now, it might look like it's two-piece, but it's not. It's one die. But here's what it does do. You've got this cutting line here, and that cuts out a shape. So what you can do on your card panel, on your card front, you can cut this whole thing out and it will cut a window that is slightly larger than the actual doily die. I think it would be fantastic to back with that with some acetate or throw another panel on behind it that's got like um, stained glass or, or inking, blending, 
just a cool pattern paper would be amazing. And then it cuts out this very intricate doily die and you can see the edge of the doily die is separated somewhat from the edge that cuts out the window. Now, at first I thought it, it was going to be two dies to cut a um, shape and then like so it would be a layering die, but it's not. However, if you did want to layer it up, here's what I would do. I would cut it out and then use the negative shape that's left behind so your frame trace around it and then just cut it out with scissors or run it through your scan and cut and then you will have a layering thing that you can pop behind it i know cool could you imagine this with a little die cut inlay oh that would be fiendish i think a glad press and seal would come in handy for that as well so that's doily that one is a brand new one here it's cut out of a silver shimmer cut not a shimmer like a mirror card stock which i think looks really cool so that one is now in the shop and last but by no means least, I did save the best till last. I'm so excited that this is out and I can show it to you. And yes, I totally bought one from myself. Rose Heart. Oh my goodness, Rose Heart. This is so beautiful. It's it's like a tattoo. Uh, again, I had a feeling, I thought that this would be layering, but it's not. There's two dies in here and it works the same as the doily die. So you've got this beautiful rose tattoo, oh, like the band. Uh, this line here cuts your window. And then these two lines here will cut a very intricate black line. Now, these dots that you see here, they're little gems that have been put on, kind of like a water droplet on a rose. Uh, it's pretty. It's beautiful. Yes, I plan on making a video for this. I'm, I tend to be making more short videos for TikTok at the moment, but I'm very excited I can live stream to here because it means I can talk to you guys more often and show you what's new and maybe do some live crafting. I'm, I'm excited to do some live crafting. Uh, so I'm excited about this one. I can't wait to do it. I've seen it done with alcohol links and Copic markers and all sorts of cool stuff. It is it is the precious and I love it so much. Uh, so, uh, yeah, because I love it a lot, I bought a lot of them. <laughs> because I hope everyone else loves them as much as I do. And if you're looking for any of the iCrafter goodies in Australia, you can find them at dawnthewest.com. Darkroom door, lawn fawn. Let me walk around the room. The Sassy Club, Uniquely Creative, Waffle Flower, The Stamp Market, Honey Bee Stamps, Kindred Stamps. I have a few Ink Road Stamps left. I don't carry them anymore, but if you're after some older retired sets, I've got a bunch of those. Um, what else have I got? Uh, uniquely creative. Got some Avery L, some Hero Arts, Concord and Ninth, Poker Doodles from the UK. Oh, Heffy Doodle from the UK. Lots of doodles come from the UK. Isn't it amazing? It's funny. Um, Darkroom Door from Australia, Uniquely Creative from Australia. If you're looking for some Hello Sweetums from Australia, they actually closed down, but I have a bunch of them. So you can get the last existing ones from me and Sweet Stamp Shop. If you're a Sweet Stamp Shop, then. I still have a little bit, just a little bit of sweet stamp shop left in the shop. Uh, I miss them a lot. They were the first brand I ever stocked and got me into the stamp shop business, which I adore. Oh, there's a an octopus on the back of my door. Didn't realize you could see that. Um, that is it. That is all from me. I uh, thank you for joining me. Hey, Margaret, how nice to see you. Yeah, this is the first time I've done a live. I'm very excited by it. And I can hear the kettle boiling in the kitchen so that means my husband is making me a cup of tea and I'm very happy about that um and for the, anyone who used to join me on Facebook lives I used to have a basketball court behind me in my old office and now I just have a mini portable basketball court that's being guarded by my vulture and my llama and and my kitty and my ghosty and my pumpkin and my bowl full of eyeballs all of which were beautiful gifts from people who sent them to me I love them oh, so much and I put all my handmade cards up on my wall because they make me super happy uh, so that yeah that's all of it from me thank you so much for joining me I now that I've figured out how to do this I'll be back more often we're going to do some live stuff oh yay I'm so happy that's exciting oh yeah I'm going to do some more live stuff we're going to get some craft on because we're starting at home and we got lots of craft supplies and I think that we should be using them and uh, like Jennifer Maguire says flexing our card making superpowers to put some good out into the world so yeah I'll be back you're going to see me on on YouTube more often after I've taken a bit of a break yeah I'm on TikTok a lot um but I'm going to be here on YouTube now I figured this out I'm so excited all right everyone thank you for joining me um and thanks for jumping on the chat as well Margaret and Tracy I appreciate that a lot and I will see you guys really really soon and I totally mean that night night <laughs>